this question is uh, can surely be an excellent question in NCA level three calculus paper, or it can also be asked uh, as a scholarship question. Okay, so the question is uh, pretty. Uh, it's not easy. Okay, I would not say it's difficult. It's not easy. Okay, so but if you be with me, and if you're focusing, you can get it. So the question is, find the term independent of x. Now, what does this mean? Independent of x means no x. In simple language, you want a term with no x's. With no x. No x means you need a constant. Okay, or uh, and a term where you have no x's. That is, in other words, a constant. Okay. Now, when you use binomial theorem, you can understand the power of x, x to the power of 4, gets, uh, starts with x to the power of 28, and it goes to 0. Whereas here, x to, x to the power of 3 decreases, uh, increases from 0 to this. So I'll write this in a different way so that you can compare with the general formula. So this can be written as x to the power of 4 plus minus 5x to the power minus 3 to the power 7. Does it make sense? So let me write. So this is what we're going to use. So the binomial theorem, it's always good to write the binomial theorem. So binomial theorem uh, is like this. If it is a plus b to the power n is n c 0 times a to the power n b to the power 0 plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 plus ultimately n c n a to the power 0 b to the power n. Okay. Now here, if you look at this, this is this minus this, this power n is n minus 0 is n and this power comes from here. So, if you want to write a general form, if you want to find a particular term, this is the formula, tr plus 1. I should use a blue or black color. tr plus 1 is the same thing. It is n c r a to the power n minus r. We are generalizing this above to the power r. Okay, so this is the general form. Now I'll explain this. It's very simple to remember. If you wanted, this is the first term. This is your t1. This is your t2. So if you want to get the first term, you have to put r is equal to 0. So can you see this is your first term, so it's t1. This is second term, this is nc1. So this is 1 less than this. That's why they're putting 1 there. So if you want to get the first term, it is you put r is equal to 0. To get the second term, you put r is equal to 1. Okay. I hope you can see the uh, pattern matching. And this is nothing but this minus this. As I told you, n minus 0 is n n minus 1 is n minus 1. So the exponent of a is this take away this, and the exponent of the second term, which is b, is nothing but this. Okay. So let us compare this general form with the example. So can I compare a with what? Compare a with x to the power 4. And you can compare b with minus 5x to the power minus 3 minus 5x to the power minus 3 and your 7 can be compared with n 7 you can compare with n so let us write this formula so t r plus 1 we don't know r is n is 7 so it is 7 c r times a what is a x to the power 4 raised to 7 minus r times minus 5x to the power minus 3 to the power r. Is it making sense? Okay, so this is 7 minus r. 
minus 5x to the power. So let me simplify this a little. So t r plus 1 is equal to 7 c r times x to the power. It's power of power. You see it x, x uh, multiply. So this is 28 minus 4r times minus 5 to the power r times x to the power minus 3r. Okay, so tr plus 1 is equal to 7cr. So you've got these two x's. So this becomes x to the power 28 minus 7r times minus 5 to the power r. Now you have to use a bit of logic. Okay, I want you to think about this general form. Okay. Okay, I'll stop for a while and I want to think. You want what type of term? We want a constant. I'll delete this. We want a constant. Now to get a constant, what should be your power of x? Think about it. I'll give you two seconds. If you want a constant term, you don't want a x term. So the power of x has to become what? x to which power gives you 1? That's what you want to think. So, well, you know that x to the power 0 gives you 1. So, basically, what I'm saying is you have to make this 0. Okay, so, so let me write that. To get a constant, to get a constant, the exponent of x has to become 0. You can say 28 minus 7r has to become 0. Okay, so this you can say 28 is equal to 7r. So now r is 4. Okay, so now this becomes t. So if, so let me rewrite. What's the a? a is x to the power of 4. What is b? b is minus 5. Let me go back. b is minus 5x to the power negative 3. Your n is 7. Uh, and your r is 4. So let, me, let us put this in this form. So this is t 4 plus 1 okay, is equal to 7c4. 7c4 times x to the power. If you put 4 here, 28 minus 28 is 0 times minus 5 to the power 4. So seven. this is nothing but the fifth term, t5, is 7c4. So this is my calculator. So you got 7C4, which is 35. Okay, so this is 35 times 1 times, this is 625. Okay, you can use your calculator. Bracket minus 5 to the power of 4 gives you 625. So your constant term or your fifth term is your constant term without any excess. So this is nothing but 625 times 35. So 625 times 35 gives you the constant term, which is 21875. So 21875 is your answer. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.